and securing the defensive rebound. Here they didn't do it. Good pursuit on the offensive board and allowed him to stick it right back in. Wall in possession. Gortat on the drive, unable to flip it in. Driving the ball into the paint is the most important offensive tool in the game. He had a great look, he just missed it. James for two, lets it go, unable to flip it in. Irving for two, off balance. That's the mark of a great defensive team. Great closeout, great contest. That's the way to get it done. Fires from downtown. Good boxing out by Mozgov. James on the drive, spinning to the basket. Oh, what a move from LeBron James. And there's a timeout here in the late stages of the third period. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense won out that time. Thirty seconds to go here in the third quarter. Cleveland's down by one. For the Washington Wizards, number 14, Gary Neal. Heads up D, picks off the pass. To Verizal. He's averaging six boards per game this season. Gets to the rim. He rattles it in. I love back and forth games tight game because what you see Mike is who has the poise and the precision to execute under the duress of the tight hotly contested match. Fourth quarter set to begin boy this one is anybody's game right now Jeff. I'm here sitting and I'm nervous. It is such a hotly contested game one play could make the difference between winning and losing. Let's see which players can withstand this type of heat and pressure. To Beal. Excellent ball movement. Great teamwork. For two, it's good. Two point game. The assist from number 14, Gary Neal. Fires away for two. Can't get it to fall. You can get that shot at any time in a possession. You've got to find a way and run your offense and execute to get a better quality shot in a close game. Getting to the basket, a pretty Euro step. <laughs> Terrific entry pass. Fires away, he puts it in. That's just beautiful offensive basketball. To shoot it and not even notice the guy who's contesting the shot. Loses control. Oh, what a steal from Kyrie Irving. Weaves his way to the basket. What a finish from Kyrie Irving. You want to keep attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. Beal. Sessions on the drive, slices through the lane, back and forth, nice looking Euro step. Pick up, pick up. Irving against Sessions. Let's it fly. Oh, he knocks it down. And they call timeout, ask for a full. All right, Jeff, if you're the coach, what do you do here? Listen, sometimes a full timeout is used just to try to get your best players some rest. You may not have any technical adjustments. You may not have any set plays you want to go to, but it's just to get your team 
some rest so you don't have to substitute. Sometimes those bench players stink and you don't want to use them. You don't want to use them. So you just want to get your best players some rest. Irving spins by the defender on the drive. Gets it to go. Nice play from Kyrie Irving. Oh, that's nice right there. Good layup, good finish. Puts it in. Four-point game. Cleveland's leading Washington by a score of 53 to 49. James gets to the rim. Oh, sinks the two-pointer. James for two. The assist number zero. To Humphreys. Terrific ball movement. Wall against Irving. Humphreys is looking to set up in the paint. Offensive rebound. Oh, pretty shot from Marcin Gartat. Sometimes NBA games have nothing to do with skill, and it's all about your will. Great will to go secure an extra possession and then put it in the basket. They double him. Strong to the goal. And Washington's called for the foul. Their first team foul. And LeBron James will get to shoot free throws for the first time in the game. Hey, you don't see strength like that very often. The way he got fouled just to get the ball up and to the rim was a great achievement. And he connects on the first free throw. from the line. To Porter. Passes it right back to the basket. And a foul called against the Cavaliers. That's their first team foul. And Mene will go to the line with under a minute and a half to go here in the fourth. Man, I thought that was going to be an end one. Good strength just whipped out. And he makes them both. And we'll have a timeout. The Cavs up by four. It seems like this is very simple right now. Late in the game, all you need to do is inbound the ball safely to your best free throw shooters and then knock the free throws down. But it's not that simple. The defense is going to try to make the ball go to your worst free throw shooters. You have to have a set play that you run to get the ball to your best free throw shooter so that he can seal the deal. J.R. Smith's checked in again. J.R. Smith. It's a turnover off the deflected pass. Let's it go. Misfires. To love. He's averaging nine boards per game this season. Puts it up. And John Wall with a hand up to alter that shot. And a timeout taken late here on the fourth. The strategy is simple right now. You come out of the timeout, you execute, you get a score. And then you have to trust your defense. No unnecessary fouls, just get another stop and then go out and transition, get out on the break. Puts it up for three. Wall shot from behind the arc, won't go. Inside, oh, clutch 
shot. As we wind down the fourth, there's a timeout. When you're in a two-possession game, you don't really need to do anything special to get back in it. All you need to do is execute out of the timeout, get a score, and then have your defense lock in and lock down, get a stop, and then get It's good! Four-point game. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. Excellent feed. Get him for the foul. They had to do it and stop the clock. With about a half a minute to go, and you're up four, if you make both of these free throws, it totally alters your defensive strategy. You can just protect the three-point line because, really, the two-point shot won't hurt you. First free throw, perfect. Nice job at the line. They're now up six. A three-second difference between the game clock and shot clock. Peel has the double team close in. Dangerous pass, almost a steal. Attacks the basket, puts it in, plus the foul. Kyrie Irving, that's his first personal foul. Team foul number two. But they're now within three. Had to do it there. They stopped the clock with the foul. Up three. You need at least one of these two free throws to make it a two-possession game. And basically in any chance of a comeback. Misses the first. Second free throw, good. It's a four-point lead. From way downtown, it's good. A clutch three-pointer. And a timeout call, very little time remaining. It's checked in again late here on the fourth. Gets a good look. It's all over. They are conference champions, and it's on to the NBA Finals. In an absolute thrilling seven-game series, they prevailed four games to three to advance to the NBA Finals. What a series, what a game, and what an accomplishment. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Cavaliers did more than just win a game here today. They won the Eastern Conference crown, and the celebration in that locker room must be going crazy right now. Still, as tomorrow rolls around, these guys will be right back to business. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Wizards were eliminated. Game Trap. Player of the game. And Kyrie Irving was a unanimous selection after today's performance. And here we have a look at his stat line. Here are the top plays from the game. Number three. Number two. Number one. The Cavaliers. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.